You've been waiting for purple armors for months and months and months and months. I've been telling y'all since last year to stop waiting for purple armors. Well, you got your purple armor. You got your darn purple armor. Y'all finally got your purple armors. You know what you got? You got these. Welcome to the new purple armor. You, you were waiting? Well, they delivered and they delivered and this is how they delivered it. These are the new augments that drop from the Crimson Realm. They make you the super ultra duper glass cannon. Congratulations, you finally got your purple armors. I've been telling y'all since last year that you can tell that Sega has gone different ways of how they're approaching the game and that we probably will not see, it would not surprise me if we were far and gone past the purple armor system. Now, maybe we see another one, but we sure as hell did not see one in the Octos, correct? Maybe, you know, we have a purple coming up. We have a Kavar's purple coming up. Maybe we see one then, who knows? Either way, it's been much longer than it previously would be in the past cycle with purple armors. But nonetheless, here you have your purple armors right here with the new augments. Now, why is this actually your purple armors? Well, the thing is that when you see these augments, Spyro, Trial, Wardro, Trial, and Guaro, Trial, the thing about these is that you can put all three of these on your units or weapon together. Now, when you look at these, you would think, oh, I can only put one on. No, you can put every single three of these on your units. The max potency now is at 192 because of this. But what comes with it? Well, let me tell you. Remember, on this one, you have PP minus five, right? And then on the war drill trial, you have all down resistance minus 50%, right? And then on the Goro trial, you have damage resistance minus 5% right remember <clears throat> remember all the values or at least most of the values in this game are multiplicative <laughs> now if you're using all of these it means that you have four of these three on your units and one on your weapon it's multiplicative these numbers get very high very quickly <laughs> Very high, very quickly. So understand that and when you do it, as, as, as I said, you have the super ultra glass cannon armor. Here you are, here it goes. This is for you, you purple lovers. This is what you've been waiting for. Now, like I said before, stop waiting so much and play, play the dang game. Stop waiting for your purple armors, play the game. Stop waiting on life, play life. You know what I'm saying? You keep waiting and you look back when you're, when you're 60 years old and you're like, oh damn. I was waiting for this darn crypto to blow up. And in the time I was waiting, I passed up on so many opportunities. I was waiting on the perfect, the perfect person to pop up who had, uh, who was 6'5 and had hair that was exactly 2.5 inches. And, and you see what I'm saying? And I missed out on all these other good ones. You feel me? But anyways, these are your augments here. So this is kind of the new option. And the thing is that these augments are cheap as hell, pretty much 1K, they're pretty much free. So one thing about this is that sure, you're the last cannon, but at the same time, dude, you know, you don't have to put all these on every single unit. These are great freaking options, regardless if you're just trying to replace some of these lesser augments. If you're doing like a, a mixed LC build and you know, put one of these on instead of like the Grand Dread Keeper LC. You know what I'm saying? The Grand Drake Keeper LC version is 2.25 potency. Bro, look, I understand the potency floor is cool and all, but dude, put one of these on there. Don't put all of them. Put one of these on there. But you know, like these, these are great augments to get your stuff up, especially if you has no Masetas. Yes, I said has no Masetas. The correct grammar would be have no Maseta. Because it's that serious. Okay? So here's your purple armor for those of you who's want to go ham, ham, biggie, bam, bam, tam, tam. Of course, this is great for Slayer or it's not great for Slayer, but it's best for Slayer. The reason I said that or not, because some people just really do not like floor potency, period. Some people don't. Some people just gamble their life away. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally what you do. But for, but for Slayer, like for Slayer, of course, like just... Slayer really benefits from just like stacking potency and it's, it's, it benefits most out of any other because the crit values are so high. 
uh the crit rate values are so high for slayer anyway so but outside of that it's just like hmm okay i mean honestly you could actually opt to i guess you know if you really wanted to you could opt to use a fatale on slayer Come by anytime, okay? so that way your crits would be almost like a hundred percent and your potency would be so superly high i mean that is an option realistically speaking um if you really want to go that route but you should still do terminal but uh but yeah so this is where you have it you can get these augments in crimson realm you can get these augments uh belugana ruins or lost central when it's flip flopping top top to be the top top sit pop pop soup Ooh, ah, ah, ah. flipped into flopping and i got this glass cannon armor flippity flopping and i got this glass cannon armor super glass super glass super glass super anyways that's your good stuff right there so if you want these babies get them they're cheap put them on your armors hey. You'll be very strong. You'll also die in one hit when someone sneezes on you. Ha choo! You're dead. Goodbye. Goodbye. But that's your option. So, uh, if this was helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you liked it, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you like donuts or pie or cake or sushi, please be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you on the next one. Much love. Holla. Happy hunting. Spike Zoo content.